Hi Aries, welcome to your reading for the month of August 2021. I hope you're doing fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards for you for the month. If any of you are interested in my jewelry, um, please visit my website, starseed1111.com. Let's go ahead and see what we have for Aries, August 2021. I hope you like my setup. A little change. We have clear quartz and pink andara for love. Um, and I have pink andara bracelets on my website as well, if you are interested. So let's see what the fairy oracle is saying. One message here for Aries, please. One message here for Aries. Okay, I have here a magical gateway. So it takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown, yet this is where the greatest rewards are. Step boldly forward without looking back. Okay, so we do have Lion's Gate. The portal of Sirius A, which is the sun in Orion. The spiritual sun, the star, Sirius A in Sagittarius that hook, links up with the Sphinx and the Giza pyramids on August 8th. And they say it's a portal of energy where you get divine messages. Use loving strength and discernment. I'm not trying to win the approval of people, but of God. If pleasing people were my goal, I would not be Christ's servant. But that could be anything. Like, that could be... It's basically just not being a people pleaser. Just sort of doing things for yourself. Um, okay, that's interesting. We do have Jupiter retrograding back into Aquarius. And that's an expansion of other people's opinions. So you have to have a strong sense of who you are, um, especially if you're going to a new period, a new phase. So let's see what we get here for Aries moving into August 2021. Aries, August 2021, first house of the zodiac. Going through Lionsgate portal. Okay, I'm going to cut it here. The Three of Swords is on the bottom. There's some kind of painful event that could be sort of under everything. It may not be the main event, but there's something here about coming out of pain or healing your heart because you are going through this magical gateway into a new beginning and you're also um, not looking for approval from other people. So let's see, 10 of wands, a lot of responsibility, you volunteered you took on a lot just all by yourself. The Queen of Swords, air sign energy, Libra in the crossing. Okay, so somebody could have some wise words for you. Some there you could be dealing with an air sign or somebody who's an intellectual. Um someone who has a uh, very clear sight of they see something very clearly two of cups there is love here there is um, an emotional bond between you and another person we have the lovers we have a loving union or connection with another person. Okay. There is a king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy right here. Masculine, a man, an adult. 
So it's not a page. We have an adult. We have somebody who takes risks and makes things happen. Okay. We have an ace of water. We have a new beginning, a new potential for love, peace, happiness, joy. We have a new potential for overflowing emotional abundance. Fulfillment. Your energy is temperance. So you are patient and you are you are balancing your energies. You are alchemy. You're making something happen. You're balancing your emotions. It's major arcana for patience, balance equilibrium, fair, um, balance. So you have a balanced emotional situation, you have harmony, you have a union, and then you have something here about a fresh start, a new beginning, or a new potential. The hermit energy is around you. It could be someone who likes to pull away, like a recluse, someone who likes to light their own lamp, could be wise advice you're receiving from someone, could be some kind of spiritual master or guru, could be a Virgo. Hermit represents Virgo in tarot. Your energy is patience. You've endured something. Queen of Air and Ten of Wands, you've been carrying a lot, like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Um, There's a six of wands. You're wanting to be seen and recognized. You're wanting to be to overcome. This is energy of Leo, but it's really Jupiter and Leo. So you're wanting good luck and good fortune, fame and fortune, and maybe some kind of popularity or something like that. You're wanting to be seen. You're wanting to be rewarded. Appreciation. I feel like you want to be appreciated too. The Nine of Pentacles, self-sufficiency, having a life of financial comfort and stability. You're very independent. You're not codependent. You're on your own. You're having a life of um, flourishing abundance. Okay, this is a really amazing read for August. You are stepping into a period where you have love in your life and you also have independence you've endured some kind of painful period not with the three of swords on the bottom you endured pain heartache loss separation this is under everything nine of air a lot of sleepless nights over an overactive mind the eight of coin, you've been working really hard, laboring, very industrious. Um, the 10 of water and the tower. Something may have happened with your family or with a family member that may have caused here five of wands, conflict or fighting or disharmony, but you were a balancer. It looks like here you were creating balance. Um, there's the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Magician. Something here was manifesting or manifested a new beginning. Um, okay, so underlying everything was pain. You overcame the pain. And now August is looking like the payoff is coming in. This is the abundance. This is the blessings and the love and the independence and the flourishing finances. Um, the person around you who comes in as hermit could have some wise words of advice for you. It's someone who follows their own lamp. They may be sort of separated from other people. They're, they do their own thing, but your energy is temperate. So your emotions are balanced. Your, alchemizing your situation, you're turning lemons into lemonade, you're making things better than they were before. 
And with the Ten of Wands as the energy here is you're doing a lot on your own. You're not asking for help. You're doing it mostly on your own. You get this new potential for love, peace, or happiness. It looks like it's connected to someone around you who's very wise or very spiritual. And you come out as the Nine of Pentacles. You come out as independent, having money in the bank, having a life of financial stability. So it says here, use strength and loving discernment and don't be a people pleaser. Whatever this means for you, um, you know, you are living for the higher 5D, the higher realms for a higher purpose rather than other people who are here on the same journey with you. You know, you're not here to please them. You're being rewarded for something that you have done. There's a queen of air in the crossing. There could be a supervisor, a boss, anybody here who sees very clearly what you've been doing. Um, the air sign energy is smart, witty, and um, very no nonsense. The lovers here comes in as a choice. Um, and it could also be a choice in your career too. So I'm going to leave this here for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to your August reading and take care.